Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a karaoke setup using OBS so that you can actually karaoke broadcast yourself to your live streaming audience. So the challenge of this setup is that you want to be able to hear the desktop audio uh, through your headphones and also broadcast your voice and you want both channels to be clean and independent of each other. So I don't want to hear that uh, computer audio coming into my microphone just in case I'm hearing reactions from people. I also don't want to put my voice into the desktop audio because then the listeners will hear an echo or two voices coming at the same time and it might be confusing for them. So those are the main challenges with this setup. Um, and also, of course, bringing in the window into OBS so you have both a webcam and uh, the desktop audio displayed in the same window. So let's get started. You'll need a microphone and a webcam. For this video, I'm using the blue Snowball and my Mac's built-in webcam. You'll also need some headphones that work on your Mac. I use a pair of Samsung wired headphones. If you need any help choosing gear, I've included my gear list in the description. First, install OBS and Soundflower on your Mac. And set up OBS to source your microphone and camera. If you don't know how to do this yet, I've put links to some tutorial videos for you in the description. So check out those videos, and once you're done, come on back to this one. Okay, now assuming that you have OBS installed, Soundflower installed, and your webcam and USB mic happily going into OBS, we're ready to get started with the karaoke setup. The first thing you want to do is go into your OBS settings, hit audio, and for desktop audio, you'll see by default it's disabled, select Soundflower. Now you'll see in the audio mixer, desktop audio is here at the top. And if you open up your advanced audio properties, make sure that the monitor is off. And the reason is because we don't want to get feedback. We're going to be outputting from a different source. And you'll be able to hear this desktop audio, uh, but not through uh, OBS's output, but through your multi-channel output um, that we're going to set up right now. So if you open up your audio MIDI setup, we're going to add a multi-output device. This is going to output to multiple devices simultaneously. So to start from scratch, we're just going to hit this plus sign here at the bottom left, create multi-output device, and then select external headphones and Soundflower. We're doing this because we want to actually hear the desktop audio in our headphones and at the same time we want OBS to hear the desktop audio. So we need to be outputting to both in order for this to work as a karaoke setup. Once you've done that, all you have to do now is output to it. Now you can see the desktop audio is bouncing around in the audio mixer. At this point, I can actually see that the desktop audio is picking up both my voice and it's going to pick up the computer on the desktop audio track. You should also be able to hear coming out of your headphones. Now, I'm going to give this a pause, and now that you've, you've noticed that I've muted the blue snowball here, uh, and now we can't see it bouncing around in the desktop audio anymore, uh, that's because I am actually routing the USB microphone here into the desktop audio through our monitor and output. If I turn the monitor off, you can see how the desktop audio no longer receives that. So for the karaoke setup, we want to have the monitor off for everything because we're going to be mixing our settings in OBS itself. And since we're recording within OBS itself, 
then this is what we want to see. So I see my USB snowball, this is my, vo my voice mic, and then the desktop audio is just going to have the video only, so you won't hear two voices. If you don't shut that uh, monitor off, you'll hear an echo effect, which you might like for karaoke, might be nice, uh, but in this example, I'm going to show you how to get the very clean uh, channels. So you have your headphones on, so this is just a vocal mic, and the desktop audio has just the sound now, you can see. Pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is bring in this window to OBS. So that's what we're going to do in the next minute. So we're going to add a new window capture. It's very easy. We'll call this karaoke window. Okay. Now it's going to show you all the windows that you have open on your computer. And so I see this Google Chrome train. I just have one tab on its own dedicated window. And so I'm going to say OK to that. And now you can see that it's brought that in. So you can adjust it however you want so that you can see all of the details that you care about. So I'm just going to go ahead and block out all of those tabs at the top that are distracting. I'm going to drag uh, and resize. So you just click on this little uh, corner red dot here so you can resize. Um, and you can also resize from the top if you'd like. You can also resize your own window and drag it around to where you'd like to be for this setup. And you can set it up however you'd like. Uh, for now, I like this setup, so I'm going to leave it like this. And now when I press play over on my window, I want to start the recording at this point. I'll start recording. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, hit the like and subscribe button. If you know any friends that might also like this, you can share it with them and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications every time I post new content. Thank you. Do you have a gear that you like to use for this setup? Go ahead and leave us a comment about it.